what's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update, daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the rest of the summer transfer window. We've got four days left until transfer deadline day. City's still pondering in the market, there's lots of things to talk about, lots of things to get through, so make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, you want to help support my channel, then subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on, it is free. On the big push towards 14,000 subscribers, I want to be there by the time that window shuts on transfer deadline day, at the time of recording this video, we're now less than 600 subscribers away from that goal, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. The last 28 days of people watching my content, it's now down that percentage Drop from 58% to 52%, so thank you everyone for that, uh, that's much appreciated. But still, over half the people watching my video aren't subscribed, so if you're enjoying the content, then please help my channel by subscribing. Social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen front to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships, for any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget also, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, aiming for 500 likes and also, most important, let me know your thoughts in the comments below because I'm always interested in what you do have to say. And so without further ado, we're going to crack on with this video. We're going to start off with the outs and we've got uh, probably the most realistic transfer to speak about of the uh, transfer window that's remaining. Eric Garcia. Now Fabrizio Romano has been reporting Barcelona they have an agreement in place with the player but not with the club. Barcelona they need to get an, uh, an agreement in place for Manchester City to make this transfer of Eric Garcia to happen. They are confident that they can do that. Manchester City at this moment in time have told Barcelona they want 30 million euros. Barcelona willing to go as high as 15 million euros. They believe that's enough to get the deal done. I'm hearing on the grapevine that it is not City looking for more. Uh, some are believing that 18 million euros could get the deal done. Again, uh, I think Barcelona will have to get as close or north of 20 million euros to get this transfer done. We'll see if an agreement does get found. Uh, I would say though that this deal now is a little bit easier for Barcelona to get done now Manchester City have brought in Ruben Diaz from uh, Benfica so we'll see what happens now in the coming days with Eric Garcia Barcelona are pushing hard to try and get this transfer done now Javier Hernandez Navarro a source at Barcelona is saying that Barcelona may go as high as 20 million euros but included in that 20 million euros may be a player City have previously been linked with Rafinha City have told them reliable sources Martin Blackburn has said that City are not interested in bringing in Rafinha to our club so I'm wondering which player Barcelona are going to offer us I've not really uh, got the desire uh, from Manchester City's end that they, they want anyone from Barcelona other than Lionel Messi so that's not going to happen so to be honest I see it as cash only for this transfer but we'll, we'll see we'll see now Hagrid FCB has been reporting that Barcelona's move for Garcia hinges on a Todibo leaving Barcelona so they want in cash for him Fulham are interested but apparently the player isn't so keen on a move to Fulham they want to use that money though to be able to fund through a move for Eric Garcia so whether that happens or not now uh, we're at a little bit of a stalemate Barcelona need to be pushing more towards trying to find an agreement but they're waiting on player sales so I feel like this one could go right down to the wire on transfer deadline day um I'd say it's 50-50 as to whether Eric Garcia will still be a Manchester City player come October 6th, which transfer deadline day is on October 5th, if he wasn't aware. Now, moving on to Alexander Zinchenko. Now, he's been added to the Manchester City injury list. Apparently, he's out for two to three weeks. Fantastic. So he's going to miss the international duty, you would think. Uh, I'm just wondering now, is he actually injured or is he injured? I do not know. Pep was speaking about uh, Alexander Zinchenko after the game against Burnley yesterday that Manchester City won in the Carabao Cup fourth round match. Good solid performance that, by the way. Good build-up for the Leeds match at the weekend. But uh, he was saying that uh, he doesn't expect Zinchenko to leave Manchester City. He isn't expecting any more incomings at Manchester City. And what I've read into that... Uh, Pep Guardiola is not going to say that Zinchenko is going to leave when actually nothing is concrete and actually Zinchenko leaving uh, is a big hurdle on Manchester City potentially signing a left back. Uh, but he may leave, that's what I will say, he might leave. He's, Pep Guardiola isn't going to say that he is going to leave when he when he might not. He's going to say that he's going to stay just to, just to keep everything settled in case he doesn't. So he's not going to come out and say... 
Zinchenko is going to leave and we're actively looking for that. He's not going to unsettle the squad and unsettle the player. That isn't going to happen. Pep will not say them words. So Pep's got nothing else left to say other than I think he's going to stay, which is what he has said. And he says that City aren't going to do, he doesn't think, do any more business in the window. Again, he's not going to say anything else. He has to say that. It's a very, it's a get out line, but it's a line that if you're a manager, you are going to say that. Now, where what I'm hearing with Alexander Zinchenko, um, Manchester City, apparently they've got offers there from Zinchenko. Loan is certainly an option this late in the window. I would doubt now that Manchester City would be able to get a fee for Alexander Zinchenko. So the question now is if uh, Zinchenko has loan offers. And I'd be very surprised if there aren't a lot of clubs interested in signing Zinchenko on loan by the time transfer deadline comes about. Uh, what are Manchester City going to do in terms of a left back? And are they going to spend money replacing a player who's now been sent out on loan and not in, on a permanent basis? This is the question that's going to be asked. We will have answers very soon as well because there's only four days left of the transfer window. Things starting to warm up with regards to Alexander Zinchenko and left backs, which moves us nicely onto the ends and yesterday's story. We've got an update on Nicholas Tagliafico. Now, Manchester Evening News have been reporting that Tagliafico, he will be open to a move away from Ajax. So, first hurdle, done. That's good. Manchester Evening News understands, though, that Manchester City are interested, but uh, it's nothing more than interest at this moment in time. They're aware that Zinchenko's future needs sorting first before any move can be made for Tagliafico. Uh, but I would imagine at this moment in time that City would surely be talking to Ajax to get a feel of how much he's going to cost and whether the player they'd be speaking to his representatives to see if he would be keen on a move to Manchester City. Apparently Tagliafico is keen on a move to England and keen on a move to the Premier League. Like I said, first difficult hurdle done. So that shouldn't be a problem in being able to get him to agree to come to Manchester City. And then Manchester Evening News have added on top of that this morning saying that Tagliafico, they've been quoted from Ajax, would cost Manchester City a price of 22 0.7 million pounds which to me sounds affordable which once again is a hurdle now the biggest hurdle Manchester City have for signing a left back is Alexander Zinchenko where will Zinchenko end up will Manchester City be able to uh, move him on like I said if he's been made available for loan, and I'm waiting for clarification that he has, but if he has, I would imagine there would be a lot of offers from lots of clubs, not just in England, but from all around Europe, that Zinchenko would have the pick of clubs of where he wants to go. Is he actually injured or not? Remains to be seen, even if he is. Uh, he could still complete a medical. It's two or three weeks, and he'll be back after the international break for his new club. So, things warming up. Will Zinchenko leave is the biggest hurdle here. I'm not so sure that he will, but if he will, then this market is really going to start to warm up and Tagliafico is looking like the player that Manchester City are showing the most interest in. So there we go. That's been the transfer update. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, 500 likes. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also leave your thoughts in the comments below of these transfers. Tagliafico, would you like Tagliafico in place of Alexander Zinchenko? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget also aiming for 14,000 subscribers. So subscribe. Any help towards that would be much appreciated. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on to be notified immediately. 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 Immediately for when I do upload. Don't forget also, social media links, they're in the description below too, and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, well done if you made it to the end of the video. If you have made it to the end of the video, then leave in the comments below immediately. <laughs> I'll see everyone again tomorrow for the next Daily Manchester City transfer update. I will be back again later on today, 4pm British summer time, for the Champions League um, draw reaction live. Watch along with me if you want to go and set your reminder. Link to that's already out on my channel if you want to go and uh, check that out on live. If not, I'll come and see you tomorrow for the next Daily Manchester City transfer update. I uh, hope everybody's safe and well. Thank you for watching. I've been JSGC. Peace. Ciao for